Hi, everybody. Welcome to Storytime. Today, we're going to be reading a book called Princess Frog. It's just a cute, happy story um, about a princess who is done with being a princess. So join me for the story and let's find out what happens to Princess Frog. Princess Frog by Enid Richmond, illustrated by Galia Bernstein. Princess Miranda was tired of being a princess. She was tired of dressing up. She was sick of crowns and jewels. You have to wear them, said the queen, because you're a princess. One day, she went to see her godmother, who was a witch. Turn me into something different, she begged. So Miranda's godmother turned her into a frog. Miranda liked being a frog. She liked floating on lily pads and leaping through the leaves and catching flies. One evening, she leaped into a park where a young gardener was working. Look at that frog, the gardener said to his friend. Let's catch it and keep it in the lily pond. The next morning, the gardener went to look at his very own frog. Miranda was leaping around. The gardener laughed. Huh, if I found a girl as funny as you, I might even marry her, he joked. Take me home, croaked Miranda. A frog that speaks, said the gardener, surprised. So the gardener took Miranda back to his cottage, and she sat beside him in a bowl. If you give me a kiss, said Miranda, I might even turn into a princess. Uh, I don't kiss frogs, said the gardener, but he did it anyway. Suddenly, a pretty girl stood beside him. He fell deeply in love. Princess Frog, will you marry me? He said, but Miranda wasn't quite sure. No more dressing up, she asked. The gardener laughed. Jeans and... No more crowns, said Miranda. They give me such a headache. The gardener laughed. No crowns here, he said. And I'll need to keep leaping, Miranda added. I'll build you a trampoline, promised the gardener. Okay, said Miranda, if I don't have to dress up like a princess, I will marry you. And so they were married, though the queen did not approve of Miranda's wedding outfit. And of course, they lived happily ever after. But every once in a while, Miranda slipped back into her frog skin and floated happily on a lily pad in the pond. All right, so what'd you think of Princess Frog? Have you ever felt like that? Like you just don't want to dress up? I know I certainly have. Um, some girls love to wear dresses, some don't. And either way, it's totally okay. Um, so what do we learn from this story? Well, we learn that not everybody wants to be a princess, right? And it doesn't matter what we look like on the outside. We don't have to get all dressed up and, and be all glitzy. Not everybody likes that. Some people do, some people don't. Either way, it's all right. You just have to be you, right? That theme keeps on coming up. Have you noticed? Well, you just have to be you. You are perfect the way you are. So if that princess wants to jump around on a trampoline and wear jeans to her wedding, so be it, right? That's who she is. And the gardener loves her for who she is, not for the crown that she could wear or the jewels that she has or the beautiful dresses. Doesn't matter. He loves her for her. So I hope you enjoyed the princess frog and I will see you in the next story time. Bye-bye.